In this video, I will teach you how to find out what is causing difficulty of breathing. As a doctor, we ask specific questions to pinpoint the cause of your symptoms. But at the back of our minds, we are aware of the common causes of difficulty of breathing. We have less serious causes of shortness of breath, such as being out of shape, overweight, elderly individuals, anxious stress, or having a panic attack. As we get older, our bodies weaken and we can have shortness of breath. However, there are more serious causes like lung infections and heart problems. Here are the basic questions to ask. Number one, when did the difficulty of breathing start? Number two, how severe is the difficulty of breathing? Can we document it? Can the patient climb two flights of stairs without getting short of breath? Number three, does the patient have a history of asthma, lung problems, or heart disease? Number four, does the patient smoke? Is he a heavy smoker? Number five, is there fever, cough, and phlegm? Aside from these questions, one laboratory test that is very useful is a chest x-ray. We can diagnose many diseases with a chest x-ray like pneumonia, emphysema, tuberculosis, and other lung problems. I have here a list of targeted questions to help diagnose the patient. It's not 100% accurate, but it applies to the usual cases. Number one, is the patient anxious, tense, with tingling of the hands and feet? Consider hyperventilation syndrome or a panic attack. You can just reassure the patient and give sedatives as needed. Number two, presence of fever and cough in a patient that looks healthy. If the chest x-ray is normal, consider an upper respiratory tract infection. If the patient has yellowish phlegm, consider a bacterial infection and give antibiotics. Number three, presence of fever and cough with an abnormal chest x-ray finding. The patient is distressed and sick looking. Consider pneumonia, tuberculosis, or emphysema depending on the chest x-ray result. Number four, presence of chest pain in a specific area on the rib cage. The patient is young and has no chronic medical conditions. Consider musculoskeletal pain as a cause for the shortness of breath. Just advise rest. Number five, presence of chest pain in a middle-aged person with a history of high blood pressure, diabetes, or heart disease. Consider heart disease or heart failure. Request for an ECG and 2D echocardiogram. Consult a cardiologist. Number six, presence of wheezing sound. The patient may have a history of asthma. Consider an asthmatic attack. Give medicines for asthma. Number seven, the person has long-standing difficulty of breathing and is a heavy smoker. Consider chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. Number eight, presence of fever in the afternoon, cough and back pain. The patient may be exposed to someone with tuberculosis at home. Consider tuberculosis. Request for a chest x-ray. Number nine, the patient cannot lie flat on bed and has leg swelling. He may have a history of heart disease or kidney disease. Consider heart failure or kidney failure. Request for an ECG and to the echocardiogram. As you can see, difficulty of breathing can be harmless or it can be a serious condition. Hence, watch out for danger signs. When a patient shows any of these signs, you need to bring him to a hospital quickly. Number one, use of neck muscles and chest retractions during labored breathing. Number two, drowsy patient not quickly responding to your questions. Number three, very sick looking patient. And number four, bluish lips and nails called cyanosis. If you are still unsure what is causing the shortness of breath, it is best to consult your doctor. You may consult a pulmonologist or a cardiologist. I hope my video helps you today. Take care.